What is up, buttercups? This is your Creepy, and today we are going to be playing a neat little game I found on Game Jolt called No One Has to Die. Now, this has been a top rated game on Game Jolt for a while, and I've been wanting to play it for a while, and now I'm finally getting around to it. So, a link to this game will be in the description below so you can play it for yourself, and without further ado, let's get started. Urgent! The Phoenix Corporation Headquarters security has been compromised! All personnel evacuate immediately. Tempest engaged, security room locked, emergency services contacted, estimated time of arrival 3 hours and 17 minutes. Hello? Is anyone there? What the hell is going on here? There's a fire! Everybody evacuate the building! Steve is logged on. Oh, it's you, Chris. This is pretty bad. I can smell the smoke from here. Steve, why are you still here? I thought you'd gone home. I was working back late, why do you care? Troy has logged on. Why are so many people still in the building? Lionel is logged on! This is the CEO of Phoenix Corporation telling everybody in the facility to evacuate the building! The security staff are dead, I found them lying dead in the control room when I saw a warning on the screen about a fire so I logged in. What happened to them? I killed them! And I lit the fire! TROY! TROY! WHAT?! Who the hell are you? Is this a joke? There's no time for this now. Visitor, if you're in the control room, then you'll have to coordinate us in escaping. You'll need one of the security codes. Am I the visitor? That's probably me. Security codes? The code is RFTS. What? Is this some kind of game to you? Security code confirmed. Security system online. Beginning scan. Floor B3. It worked! Now you may have a very difficult choice coming up, I'm afraid. Calculations complete. Fire on floor B3. One casualty. Unavoidable. Candidates Troy, Steve. What does that mean? Our visitor is going to have to choose between keeping me or Steve alive. I trust this won't be a hard decision. Kill that asshole! I'm not dying for him! My job here is done! I'm ready to die! A fire is growing. Visitor, you will be led through how the system works. <laughs> Hurry up! Urgent! Please enter your security system orders immediately. The chat system has been locked until your decision is made! Oh my god, who would I kill? Oh, go one turn without the fire or water spreading to progress. Water will come from here when the switch is on. Water puts out fire but also drowns people. Turn off the switch to stop it flooding. This fire will grow every turn. Fire cannot move through locked doors. Click a lock to lock it. You may only lock one door. You can click switches while a person is standing next to them to turn them on or off. Okay. 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 Um, so right now, there's a fire here, there's doors here and here, from this guy, and this guy, and so I have to pick which one to save, because I can only lock one door before the fire spreads, right? So I'm gonna lock this door, because I think this guy's Steve, I think this guy's Troy, I mean, I think he's the one who started the fire, but I don't know. Alright, is- uh, he... Can I lock both of them? What happens now? <gasps> Steve, ah, oh, I can't help Troy! Oh my gosh, she's gonna die if- Oh my gosh, um, um, can I turn this on? How do I turn this on? <gasps> oh, what do I do? What's this do? You can click switches, um, click the switch. Does that turn the water on? Oh, so this room has water. Oh no, what do I do? Oh, the water is going to drown her if I don't turn it off. I have to turn it off, right? The wire's been contained. Casualties, Troy. Oh, okay. Oh, this game is complicated! Oh... Phew, that was tense for a bit. Glad that's over. How can you talk like that when someone just died? He had this coming! He tried to kill us! Really? I'm pretty sure he just saved you. Not his best decision. Oh, haha. -ha. So you two know each other? Yep, me and Steve have, have made the misfortune of working together for the last few years. Tell me better, Chris. Don't you wish you'd gotten to work with Troy's department instead? Shouldn't you two be looking for a way out? We're not all old like you. We can walk and type. Thank you very much. The main hallway is completely destroyed by fire. I can't get through. I'm having the same problem. I found a staircase up to the next floor, though. Oh, same here. There's one here, too. Shall we head up? Beginning scan floor B2. Our visitor is being very quiet. What's your story? Me? I don't work here. I'm just, just making a delivery. A delivery? Let me guess. Tires, pop-up, books? No, stationary. Those were some strange guesses, though. What exactly do you do here? I was delivering paper to the office and now I'm making choices about who lives and who dies. What do we do here, Lionel? 
I know you got that message, Lionel. Forget it. I wasn't expecting an answer anyway. To be honest, no one really knows what Phoenix Corporation actually does. You work here. How do you not know what you do? The company buys random items, toilet seats, guitars, you name it, in bulk, and then sells it all for next to no profit. We're all almost certain it's a front. But it pays well, so we stay here. Well, Christina works here because nowhere else wants her, but that's different. Why doesn't... What? How about you shut up while I ask Lionel a serious question? I want to know about the cockatiel... Cockatiels? Cockatiels? Oh, the cockatiel story. For nearly a year, we'd be constantly getting in shipments of live cockatiels by the thousands. God knows how many birds they bought. What? Cock... What? But the cockatiels were never seen again. No one knows what was done with them. It's an animal rights issue. We were buying cockatiels looking for a phoenix. I don't get it. Has anyone found anything interesting on the second floor? Nope. Nothing much here. Shouldn't you guys all know your way around this building? Our access to the rooms here is very limited. That would be on your request, wouldn't it, Lionel? Truth be told, I rarely visit myself. I know what facilities this building contains, but I know very little about its layout. Great! Good job! Thanks, man. You run the business and, uh... That's right, it's been in the notices for weeks that you were coming today. Was today something special? I was just dealing with some financial business. Nothing that could have encouraged arson. So, if they're thinking that the whole business is a front and this guy is doing something illegal, and the guy I killed was the guy who set the fire, does, does that mean he was actually trying to set the fire to stop whatever this illegal thing this guy was doing? So he could have been a good guy and not just an arson trying to kill everybody? Did I kill the wrong person? Calculations complete. Fire on floor B2. One casualty unavoidable. Candidates Lionel or Steve. God damn it, not again. Either Lionel or Steve is going to die. As CEO of this corporation, I must request that you save me. Don't you dare. Please save Steve. I don't know why this fire was started, but you can be sure Lionel's responsible in some way. But Steve's done nothing wrong. It's great to hear you sticking up for me for once, Chris, but our visitors already saved me once. It's their choice what they do this time around. I did save him once. Oh my gosh, visitor, my life is in your hands. Make the right decision, save me, you will be well compensated. This isn't about money, you asshole. Shut up, both of you, it's getting hot in here. There's, this is up to our visitor. Urgent, please enter your security systems immediately. Oh god. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. First thing we have to do is we have to lock this so Chris doesn't die. If we turn on the water, that means the water will come here and here. Alright, let's see what happens. Okay, she's safe because she's behind a locked door. And now there's water here. Can I lock another door? I can't lock another door. Oh no! No, 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 no. So basically, if I keep the water running for one, it'll go in this spot here, and in this spot here. If it goes here, that way this guy will be safe, but Steve won't be safe. And if I let it keep going, then it'll get here so Steve is safe, but it will drown Lionel. Okay, so now, do we let the CEO live? The guy who is possibly having a front for this? Or Steve, who I don't even know at all, but Chris wants me to keep him alive. I... Who do I... I don't know, because Lionel... I thought Lionel would be a bad guy because he's the CEO and he's possibly running a front, but I thought that about the guy who started the fire too, but now I'm thinking he's probably not so much of a bad guy, and... Oh, no! Okay, 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 okay... Uh... I'm sorry, Lionel! I'm gonna drown Lionel! Ugh. Turn that off, turn that off. Okay, I drown Lionel. Okay, I just killed a guy. I just, I, 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 it's not even that I couldn't stop the fire, it's I physically killed him by letting the water flow into his room. Okay, that's bad. That's not good at all. Good! That's not good at all! I just said it's not good at all! Now who's being insensitive? That was the head of our company, Chris. And you chose me over him, visitor. Don't ask me to explain my choices, it makes me sick thinking about what I just had to do. Yeah! No kidding! How do you think I feel? I didn't get a choice. What if I wanted to die to save Lionel? You should have told me then! Don't... Don't goof around and beat around the bush, dude. Uh, as if you would have ever sacrificed yourself for anyone. Steve? What? And you would? No, but at least I'm upfront about it. 
What? It seems like Christina and Steve don't really like each other so much, because Steve insulted Christina earlier, and Christina's now insulting Steve, saying he wouldn't sacrifice himself for anyone. And now he's saying the same thing about her as well. But she asked me to save him, but they don't have a good relationship. At all. I... I don't understand. Why is this game called No One Has to Die If I Have to Kill People? Hmm? Do you think we get paid overtime for this crap? Are you kidding me? Why don't you focus on staying alive, okay? Because I've saved you twice, and now you just want to be paid and compensated for this. Just relax. We're going to get through this, but stop being like that, dude. you got to focus on your survival now. I don't know. Barely matters, though. Time and a half of what we make is still next to nothing. Maybe Troy said the fire because he was angry about all the wage cuts recently. God, do you have any clue? Wait until we get out of here before you start making jokes about the deceased. Hey, I could be right for all you know. The guy was wacky. It wouldn't take much to set him off. No, just stop. I mean it. You know, speaking of the deceased, I've been so wrapped up in working with you guys, I almost forgot I'm in a room with two dead bodies. I didn't even know that. Whoa, I'd forgotten too. That's awful. What can you find out about them? I guess I should probably search them, huh? I really don't want to, though. Ugh, good luck. You must have a strong stomach than me. Stronger stomach than me. I found a blue file in the hand of one of them. Really? What does it say? It's a security code. The one that Troy gave us. Wait, really? Why are you so surprised, Chris? It would explain how Troy could tell us the code. Why would he give us the code anyway? What does he get out of it? He died out of it. Oh my gosh, I wish I had kept Troy alive now, because... Ah! Ah! I don't get it either. Why shoot two people, set a building on fire, and then try to play the hero? It makes no sense to me. Why don't we ask him? Oh, whoops. No, it's not that funny. It's not funny. That wasn't funny. Hey, simple mistake. Chris? Chris! You sure managed to get yourself ignored a lot. Eh, I wasn't that fussed on talking to her anyway. Calculations complete. Fire on floor B1, one casualty unavoidable. No. Ken is Christina and Steve. No, no. Chris? I thought I was going to make it. There's only one more floor to ground level. You're getting out of here, Chris. There's no way I'm letting you die. Don't you dare. Don't even think about it. You're not sacrificing yourself for me. Chris, you know I don't mean any of the shit I say, right? Of course I do. I'm not an idiot. You don't die to prove that. You don't need to die to prove that. Good, then I'm ready. Steve, no. You don't deserve to die. No one deserves to die, Chris. Es especially not you. You're not going to ignore me now, are you? I just, I just don't know what to say. How about goodbye? Whatever happens is the last time we'll ever talk to each other. This isn't how I wanted things to go. I'm sorry, you two. If I don't do something now, you'll both die. It's alright, I'm ready now. It'll be like a barbecue. Shut up, you're not going to die. Is he, is he a visitor? Our visitor knows what they're doing. They'll save you. Visitor, promise me you'll save him. Promise me. I've already saved him two times! And if I don't save him, that means those other two times were fruitless. But I don't know what to do. So in order to save Chris, I have to move Steve up to turn on the valve so the water blocks. In order to save Steve, I need to move out of the way, unlock the fire. Okay, Steve. Oh, move up, lock the door. You stay where you're at, Chris. All right, turn off, turn off the hose. Back up, come on, come on. I, I wish I could, can I unlock the door? Can I, un I can't unlock the, there's no way to save him. There, oh God, I'm sorry, Steve. I'm sorry. The fire has been contained, casualty Steve. No, I'm so sorry. No, it's not fair, why would you save me? I haven't listened to one of you. You don't understand, he never hurt anyone. Neither did you. Yes, I did. Christina, Troy and Lionel, and Steve, they all died because of me. The security guards, too. Visitor, this is all my fault. I lit the fire. <laughs> Troy did. No, he didn't. I don't know what his deal is. Was. I set the fire, then I killed the guards before they could do anything about it. From the start, it was all me. Christina, you know it wasn't really you. It was Troy. If it was Troy, why was he trying to save us all? I don't know. No one does. This isn't how it was meant to go. Steve wasn't meant to be here. The building was meant to be nearly empty. I saved the one person who lit the fire! Ugh. 
Christina, why don't you be straightforward with me and tell me that? Oh my god. Let's say you did it. What was your motive? I wanted to stop whatever what was going on in this building forever, and I wanted to kill Lionel before he ruined anyone else's lives too. What did Lionel do? Him and his company, they killed my mother. What? My mother used to work at this company. She had the same name as me. She never told me much about what they did here. She always just said experiments. Well, one day she went to work and never came back. We ordered a search, but no one could find her. It was a week before we got a call from the Phoenix Corporation. They told us that they were so sorry and that Mum had died in an experiment. Sorry my ass, they still wouldn't tell us what happened. And then when they sent back her body, they sent back her body with her brain cut out. They cut out her brain so they could experiment on it. I couldn't let them get away with doing anything like that ever again. So I started working here at the company. They knew who I was, but I think they gave me a job to shut me up. Since then I've spent God knows how long trying to find out what they did to my mother, but I haven't gotten anywhere. When I read in the notices that Lionel was going to be visiting today, I knew I had to do something. But I thought I had worked out the timing perfectly. Steve wasn't meant to be working overtime. And now he's dead. I killed him. I killed all of them. I... I don't, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. Nothing's going to help. I'll just keep moving through this building. And when I get out, I'll be arrested and I'll finally get what I deserve. Oh, there's a blue file on a desk in here. It looks like the one you found on the security guard. Another one, what's the point of that? It has a different code on it. Maybe this would let you lock more fire doors at a time? But if I had if I'd had that earlier, I don't even want to think about this. I'm going to keep moving. No fire detected. Hold on a sec. There's a big metal door I need to open. There's a sign that says Tempest Entrance. What's that? No clue. There's a door here though. It looks kind of strange. I'm going to go through. You know what? I don't even care. Fine, go through. I won't say, hey, just leave. Just do do what you want. Do what you want. Christina has disconnected. What? No, we were so close. Why would it drop out now? Christina! Christina, I'm coming to find you. Okay, now it's my job to go and find her. Christina end. Is that the, the mystery is not yet solved. You must explore all possibilities to find the truth. I have a feeling that this is one of those games that you replay over and over to save different people to get to the end and totally figure out what happened. I'm not going to go through that on camera. I'll probably do it in my own spare time. But thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share, favorite, all that fun stuff down below. There's a link down below also. You can go check out this game to see what else happens for yourself. Maybe try another ending, see what happens, see how everything works. And see what this game has to offer because this game has a lot more to offer than I originally thought and it's definitely very interesting and thought-provoking to say the least so I hope you guys enjoyed this game and I hope you check it out for yourself because this is definitely definitely a game I would recommend to people so thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you next time you almost did good you almost did no. oh my god what are you what are you what are you what are you what are you, what are you, what are you, what are you oh my god these things are slowing me down run faster faster I'm running really fast I don't know how to stop Somebody help me! She wrote booger. Booger. <laughs> <laughs> so she thought that I wanted to be called booger. <laughs>